Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Pink Fresh Studio and I want to use the um, that paper there that I showed you at the beginning with all the little squares on showing all the different papers in the Holiday Magic collection and my idea is to do a page that sort of is a bit like an advent calendar so lots of different doors to open and so I, I also flipped through the other papers in the collection there just so you could see them. They're fabulous. I'm really excited with this with this collection and uh, couldn't wait to get stuck into it. So you can see here I'm just cutting out all the little squares. I don't use every one of them, um, but I do use most of them. So I've skipped through that so you didn't have to watch me cut them all, but there they are. And I'm just taking out the ones that are um, the cut apart sheets and the ones that are really wordy so um, I've just taken a couple of those out but the rest are all going on there and my plan is to put these big these photos here I've got two larger photos and three small photos and my plan is to put the larger photos under double doors and then the small photos under single doors so that's where I am at the moment and I'm just deciding exactly where things are going to go. So I think I'm going to put one double door there and one there so that they're sort of spread around the layout and then I'm going to put the little ones there behind single doors as I said. Okay so I want, what I want to do here is make sure that I'm getting central so that's why I've got my ruler out my t-square but I'm also cutting off the manufacturer's tag because I want to make sure that all these um, squares are nice and centrally located the central one is centrally located so that I can go from there so first up I'm going to put some um, foam on the back of each square that doesn't have a photograph underneath so any that are just going to sit I want those to be popped off the page for some dimension. I think about popping the photo ones off and then realise that that's not going to work for a door. <laughs> so there we go. So I've put foam on the back of all of them now, I've skipped through and I'm distressing the edges of each of them, including the ones where the photo will go underneath. And this is where I'm going to start to find the centre. And apologies about the light. I think um, it was a sunny day and the sun would came in and then it would go. <laughs> So it just changed the lights on light on the project, but um, but I think it's still clear. So I'm going to find the centre of the page. Um, really helpful to use a T-square ruler for this. There we go, got a centre, and I'm going to stick that one down right in the centre there, and then I'm going to start sticking all the all the pieces down that have foam on the back. If you, if you start with the centre one, it gives you a good chance of getting all the others equally spread out. So there we go. All of those are stuck down. There is one that isn't stuck down. It takes me a while to realise, but you'll see that in a bit. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I think it keeps moving um with this with the wet ink with the wet glue sorry and um it's not the glue i'm using by the way is scotch tacky glue um i always use that as my wet glue so um that's that's what i'm using there just in case you wondered so i'm going to stick these doors what i've done is taken another square folded it in half and then stuck it to the door and then stuck it to the page so it's sort of like almost like a hinge for each door so i'm doing that on each one and I'm using up those other squares that I cut out before at the moment just because they're there and I can use them and I've got three of those so that works well. I make sure to keep the white side when I open because I don't want to see part of a pattern paper there. So okay so now I'm going to stick the photos down just sticking those flat to the paper and they go under the three doors. I'm still thinking that that one up at the top has glue on it and it's just moving. <laughs> oh my goodness, honestly, I can't believe I didn't realise. So for the double door, I want them to be slightly bigger. So all I do is I measure out the space that I have, including the gap. So, um, and then I just 
do a little fold so that I know where the center line is and cut it. So you can see it joins in the middle and that's what I was looking for. So these are slightly bigger than the other doors but I wanted them to meet. So I'm using some um, some of the six by six paper pads just make these doors. And I'd already cut some trees out for my last layout so they were just, they were scraps there to be used so it's a really good way of using scraps this. Okay, so I need to make some hinges for these doors as well. And I just pull out some of the paper on my 6x6 because I've used the scraps. I don't have any scraps big enough now to use so I just have to start a new piece. So I've made two hinges and I'm going to stick the doors down with those. I'm not going to stick them to the page just yet. But again the hinge is working exactly the same way as the small doors. I'm just cutting a square, folding it in half and then using it to stick to the door and then stick to the page. But at the moment, I'm just figuring out how they're going to look when they open up. And I realise, actually, that they don't look great. But that's okay, because then I, then I realise what I'm going to do is to stick another piece of paper underneath so that they, um, so you don't have the two patterns there. So I'm just going to cut two more squares for each of the double doors. There we go, and just stick that on there so that when I open it up, the door is the full colour underneath as well. So I just skipped through that so you didn't have to watch me do that for all of the doors. And then I'm going to stick the hinges down. So there we go, there's that one that wasn't stuck. <laughs> I, fi I finally realised. So I'm going to stick those down. But there we go. Both set. and then stick my photo inside. And again, just flat to the paper. And there's a bit of color each side as well. So I'm happy with that. My next thing is to put on some, some little doorknobs. So I'm using these fabulous um, enamel dots in gold and silver. I'm using the gold ones, but they're fantastic. I really love them. Um, yeah, I, I've used some on my last project. I, I don't think they'll last long with me because they're so fabulous. Now I'm pulling out the puppy stickers and I'm going to put some stickers on some of the other doors, which um, are not really doors because they don't have doorknobs on them, but they're, um, they're representing doors, I think we'll say. So I'm just putting some on, these little festive stickers. And this is a really good way when you have a whole collection to use some of the stickers that you wouldn't normally use on a layout. It's a really good way to, to use those up. So um, so yeah, worth a try definitely. And these are the cardstock stickers. Just putting a couple of those on. Now these alphas are actually from the Best Day collection because um, there are no numbers on the Holiday Magic collection. So I wanted to put numbers on my doors. So I went back to the best day and this green is just perfect. It, it goes really well with the collection. So um, definitely think about cross-using cross your, your stash, your collections. Um, Pink Fresh is very good for that. They do go well together. So um, yeah, some more cardstock stickers. These are just little word stickers, various things saying happy are we, dressed in holiday style, um, holiday party, Christmas spirit, all that sort of thing are going in here. So um, I just wanted to put some extra things inside the doors to go with my photos. There we go. There's so much, so, so much in the collection. I could have been adding embellishments for days. <laughs> You've got to stop somewhere, right, though? So I'm going to put some on the inside of the doors here. 
This is the cardstock stickers. And I'm going to put a circular one on each door there just to add some interest when the doors open because it's white. And then I add a few more little knobs to a couple of other plain doors. And then I think that it is done. There's the final layout. I hope I've given you some inspiration for using your kit and especially for using scraps, which is always a really great thing to, to do with your scrapbooking. I added a title there with the alpha that came in the, the collection, um, Advent Fun. I added that off camera. But check out the close-ups. Um, please do let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help and I'll link up what I used in the description below. Thanks for watching. This has been Vicky for Pinkbrush Studio. Bye-bye.